Hey guys, today I will be welcoming a brand new card to the diecast line. Today we will be taking a look at Corporal Josh Cleveland for Welcome Wednesday. I did not mean to just knock him. Um, yeah, this is a new weekly series I'll be doing on my channel. In the original cut for this, I didn't really explain what this series was very well. So here in the editing, I am going to do a voiceover. Um, but in the Welcome Wednesday series, I'm basically going to be reviewing cars that are from the previous, from the current year, and maybe going back into the previous year. Uh, since this is the middle of the year, uh, I will be reviewing Blue Desert Cars and only Blue Desert Cars, nothing before that. And once it hits, and I'll be continuing just only Blue Desert and only characters that are brand new. No new variants that are just like the Thailand variant. If it is something like a Silver variant, like Silver Chick Hicks or Silver Jackson Storm, or like a metallic car like Metallic Cal Weathers, then yes, those will still count. But mostly, it's just going to be brand new cars like Josh Coolant here. So, uh, yeah, also, if you would like to see reviews on cars from 2006 to 2012, please go check out Tito Reviews Ty. He is doing a Way Back Wednesday series, which parallels my Welcome Wednesday series. A link to his channel will be in the description. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. So yeah, let's just get right onto his review. You can see there is the name tag there. There is his artwork, deluxe. He is in the London Chase series. He is the only deluxe in that series so far. There is the description, which you can pause and read if you would like. And there is also the picture there of the London Chase itself. So, uh, let's just get this guy right out of the box. So here he is, out of the box, and this is actually his first official diecast release from Mattel. The Disney Store did have their variant released a while back um, in a 7-pack, and again in a 2-pack with Sarge. But... It is nice to finally have the official Mattel one. He was canceled a couple times. The latest being in 2017 in the London Chase series that year. He was canceled. There were a couple prototypes that leaked out though. He is a Range Rover. Right, yeah, Land Rover actually. He has the British flag there, oh, but there are his military patches there, along with his grill and headlights. He has this really nice camouflage design. There is his eyes. He does have this kind of Thailand finish, but I think it looks okay. There is the Union Jack again. Some more patches. He does have silver rims, which on the prototype of him that was leaked and was on the card back, he has green, but the one that was leaked has one silver rim, the, r the rest are green. So, and the Disney store has all silver as well. I'm not really sure which is accurate. I believe all silver is, but I really don't know. His license plate reads L-E-I-I-I-A-L. There's another Land Rover um, logo there. His tail lights. He has the military hat with the, and the Disney stores is really detailed with all of the kind of designs in there. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to represent, but uh, Mattel's is much less detailed than the Disney store when it comes to that. And it is red on the Mattel one, actually. It is a bit of a bright red, similar, a bit duller than McQueen, but about that color. The Disney stores is maroon, and I believe that the maroon is accurate to the movie. Here he is compared to one of the Range Rovers released back in the Palace Chaos series. Um, this one does have the gun, but um, they are like the exact same. So I think the only reason he really is a deluxe is the hat. 
and that's kind of upsetting because you have to pay the extra price for a car that's about the same size, but um, it really, it's kind of annoying, but it's better than him being a first look in a multi-pack, I guess. Here is his base, by the way. Forgot to show that. Some interesting rivets there. I haven't seen rivets like that before. All the Mattel ones are that I've seen before, just the circles. Compared to the Disney Store Corporal Josh Coolant, uh, he is a lot more detailed than the Disney Store one, but um, the Disney Store one's got um, some of the more fine details a lot better, like the hat with the little logo there. And his logo is kind of they are the exact same, just it's a bit misprinted on the Disney Store. I do think Mattel is a lot better with their die casts and definitely is better with the Josh Coolant. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this Welcome Wednesday. And if you have not, please do go check out T-Torgy's Tie channel because he does make some really nice content over there. And if you have not already, please do go subscribe to him. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.